some of my viewers have stated that they are having a difficult time installing the VNC software, the virtual network computing software called Tiger VNC Viewer so that they can remote into the Raspberry Pi from their MacBook so that they can run the, the, the Pi from their MacBook. That way you don't need a, a, a monitor nor keyboard nor mouse for your Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, to be clear, we we only need the VNC viewer. We do not need the VNC server. There's already a server on there already. We just need to install the VNC um, viewer on the Mac. Okay. There's a couple of ways to do that, and I'll walk you through it. It's relatively simple. At the time of the recording of this video, Tiger VNC is the recommended VNC viewer on the Raspberry Pi documentation website. So if we glance down a little bit in the download section, it says the VNC can be downloaded from the GitHub release page. Now that's a bit unusual if you're not you're not used to, to that. Usually you're used to downloading from the page itself, but it's taking you to GitHub. So go ahead and go to go to that link, which will take you to here. And at the time of the recording of this video, Tiger VNC 1.15.0 is the latest version. And so it's telling us that it's available from SourceForge, okay? Again, if you're not used to downloading something from Source Forge, it might be a little bit unnerving, but it is safe. It is part of the documentation provided by Tiger VNC themselves. Okay, so we'll click on here. Because I am on a Mac, I want the DMG. I want, I want the DMG distro. So I click on the Tiger VNC. 1.15.0 um, for DMG for DMG. Again, I'm on a Mac, so I want that file. Um, now, this is going to take a few seconds for it to pop up. There it goes. So go ahead and save that. I guess they want you to look at the advertising before you can start downloading. Then go to your downloads directory where you will find your Tiger VNC disk image file. That's what the DMG stands for. Double click on it to unpack. And then you're going to drag the Tiger VNC viewer dot app file into the um, applications directory. Now I've already installed, so let's go down tell me that. Of course, I'm going to stop, but you can continue. You might get a little warning here. Go ahead and ignore that. This software is safe. And once you have your Tiger VNC Viewer app in the applications directory, you can safely eject the Tiger VNC installer here. And then you can certainly use Apple Spotlight by pressing the command and spacebar button and that'll bring up the spotlight and you can type in tiger 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 burning bright in the forest of the night that's the William Blake poem uh, and then go ahead and click on the app itself now when you run the viewer for the first time you might get one or two dialogue box warning you of security measures and all of that you can click through all of that. This, this app is safe and recommended by Raspberry Pi Foundation. And if, here you can, you will enter the IP address for your Raspberry Pi. And then when you click on connect, it'll ask you for your credentials, the credential for the Raspberry Pi. So therefore, you need to have the username for your Raspberry Pi and of course the password for your Raspberry Pi. And voila. 
I'm in the Pi for my Mac. Now you've seen me do other videos that I've posted where I'm um, accessing my Raspberry Pi from my Mac and you can program on your Raspberry Pi from your Mac through this. Um, I will tell you though that you can turn off your Pi from your Mac but not not the inverse for obvious reason right because you need to have your Pi running before you can access it so you need to manually turn on the Pi first or figure out a way to turn on the Pi remotely. Okay, this is my preferred way to install the VNC, um, but some people prefer Homebrew for whatever reason. Um, there's a caveat to using Homebrew, and I'll walk you through that. Now, if you are going to install Tiger VNC Viewer uh, from Homebrew, make sure that you install the Tiger VNC Viewer. Tiger VNC dash viewer. Make sure you install this cost here. See, this is what it says in, in documentation, literally, right? We do not want to install anything else. We don't want the VNC server. That is entirely different. And that's entirely different process. Again, we want to install the VN Tiger VNC dash viewer. Okay, I want to drive that home. Now let me show you what Homebrew literally do when you issue the command to install the Tiger VNC Viewer. It will download the DMG, it will unpack it, and then it will drop this app file into the applications directory. Literally. Okay. Um, that's all that it's doing. Um, so if you prefer to do it like that, then great. Now, it'll do some of the sampling behind the scene as well, which uh, is a double-edged sword because what if you want to uninstall Tiger VNC for some other new Fandango uh, VNC in the future, then you have to unlink those sim link. Okay, that's why my, my preference is to just do it manually from the downloads. Okay, my dear friends, if you found this video helpful and you think that I deserve a thumbs up, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribe, subscribing to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything and will perhaps help me out in the future. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Goodbye for now.